Hey guys, uh, I want to do a quick update of something I'm going to attempt to do here. I've never actually done this. Uh, I've neglected to actually turn on uh, AHCI when I was installing Windows 7 on this machine, and it does have an S SSD on here. And uh, of course, it's going to cause some performance problems and whatnot. So I want to go ahead and uh, get RegEdit open here. And uh, I have not done this, like I said, personally. So. I'm kind of following a guide here and we'll see how it goes. We need to run regedit as a administrator here. And then let me bust out my iPad actually and look up what we're doing here. So we need to go to HK local ma machine. We need to go to system. We need to go to current control set. And we need to go to services. And now what we're looking for on services is something called MSA HCI, so it's going to be a ways down here. M S A C H I. Cool beans. So we want to find what do we want to find here? I believe it's start that we want to edit here. Yeah, we want to edit start and we want to change this value. Currently it's set to three and we need that to be zero so go ahead and hit that and then uh, in the left pane we need to look for something else let's see here called IA store V and we may or may not have it we do and uh, we're looking for a value in here called start and we need to modify that as well. And we need to go ahead and change that to zero. So we go ahead and hit OK. Now we want to exit. And now we want to restart the computer. So this is a fairly important part. We're going to restart the computer. I'm going to stop recording here on the screen and switch over to my camcorder here. Alright, so we need to go ahead and restart the machine. Now we want to go into the BIOS here uh, as soon as it boots up. Now if you don't have a uh, HCI installed originally, it will cause blue screens because the drivers aren't loading when you try to actually uh, change this setting. So what we did there will hopefully allow Windows to actually recognize this when we go back in. So let's go ahead and get in here and the BIOS are kind of weird on this. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Check this. And I believe that's actually good. So let's go ahead and save and exit. Hit yes. And uh, what should happen is when the computer boots back up, it should actually... I uh, have to hit the power button on again. It should actually uh, scan for some new drivers, find those new drivers, and it should work. So we'll see. That's looking kind of encouraging, that little thing that flashed by there. Come on, Windows, you got this. So usually I think it had actually blue screened by the time I even got to this point, so I think that may have actually fixed it. It looks like it did, so I'm going to log in here real quick. Sounds like it's scanning the floppy drive for some reason. And it's doing new driver software. Let's get this closed. Get this up so we can actually see what it's doing. So, as you can see here, it's getting our AHCH, or AHCI uh, controller stuff installed. So it looks like we'll have to restart again. But uh, I believe that did fix the problem. So uh, we'll go ahead and just let this do its installation and restart and see what happens. All right, so I've finished installing all of those drivers. It's uh, time to restart this thing. And hopefully it'll just boot right back into Windows now without any problem. So... Uh, that's a really easy simple, easy and simple fix if you're like me and you forget to enable that sometimes. A lot of more modern BIOS will automatically either have it enabled uh, or they will warn you if you have an SSD installed and that's not enabled. But this particular motherboard did not. So um, I've done this a few times. This is actually the first time I've actually been able to repair this instead of just reinstalling Windows. That's what I've done previously. So this is a much simpler, faster solution. Looks like we have our... Uh, SSD seems to be booting up pretty well. This is an older SSD, 
and uh, it's still kind of trucking along there pretty well, so I uh, don't know why the floppy drive is scanning every time I start up now. Alright, so everything seems to be working well now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's actually load up. Well, let's check this first. Uh, I don't actually have any way of doing the system rating because the machine's been uh, just locking up. The display adapter's been crapping out on me. It's a very old adapter. It's a G4 6600, so, um, I mean, it's really just here to drive. This this computer is only meant to be doing, like, cloning of disk drives and stuff, so uh, it's really not a big deal. But everything there looks like it's good to go. Let's go ahead and check under computer. Everything's here, so it looks like everything worked. Now, I do want to try running Samsung Magician to see if we can get any more information here now. It doesn't look like I can verify the disk or anything. It doesn't seem to be getting any real information from this. Uh, what's the smart info on this? Yeah, it doesn't really have a whole lot. So power on count is actually really low on this drive. It's only been on for about 100 hours. That's good. Cool beans. Things are looking good on that. Uh, apparently it doesn't support firmware updates and stuff. But uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let, let's see. Oh, I saw for, where is the performance thing? This is just showing my performance review from before. I guess I could benchmark it again and see if these have improved at all. So... The, sequ the sequential uh, read was two, 237 and 180. Let's run this again. It takes a minute to run, but uh, I'll go ahead and run it and just see if anything's improved here. All right, so uh, re re it didn't really come out particularly differently, but um, it's probably partly just because uh, the, the drive is very old. It's a 470 series uh, Samsung SSD. So it probably can't perform much better than that, but uh, really we should have that AHC AHCI enabled no matter what anyway. Um, I guess we could do a performance about it, but I'm not going to bother with all that stuff. Um, I have it set for maximum performance. <laughs> I don't know how good that's going to turn out. Uh, yeah, we're at the floppy drive. I hear it churning away again. So uh, that's pretty much all there is to doing that. Um, on a newer system, you'd get more benefit, obviously, from fixing those settings. But uh, anyway, guys, if you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will catch you next time.